In this video, I want to show you how to create a chatbot API using OpenAI's libraries. So the first thing that we want to do is log into OpenAI to get our API keys. So from the desktop, when you first log in, you need to click on your name up here, view API keys, and then create a new secret key. Uh, once it shows, you'll need to copy that and keep that somewhere safe. Uh, you could create an ENV file like I have here and paste that into your API tokens. Um, I've also created an index.js file here. So to start off, we need to initialize a new project with npm init. We'll just enter through all of these. You can update those as you wish. And then we need to install five libraries. So the libraries that we need are OpenAI, Express, BodyParser, Cause, and .env. Okay, so now they're installed, we need to start importing the libraries in. So const, we're going to import the configuration class and the OpenAI API class. OpenAI API class from OpenAI. And then we want to import Express. And then body parser cause and then we're going to require dot env and the config from there. So now we've imported those, uh, we need to now import the token from the env file. To do this, we run const token is equal to process.env.api underscore token. So that's the same name that we gave it inside of our environment file here, API token. And then we need to inject that into the configuration class. So to do this, we run const configuration and that's going to be equal to a new configuration and API key. And now we can initialize the OpenAI class. And we do this by doing const OpenAI equals new OpenAI API and then inject the configuration into that class there. So the next bit is we're going to start setting up the actual API. So to do this, we need to initialize the app. We need to tell the app to use the body parser. And then we're also going to tell our application to use cause. Okay, so now we've created all the configurations for the API, we can actually start creating the endpoint. So that will be app.post because it's going to be a post request and this endpoint is going to be called message. And this message takes in a request and returns a response. So inside of here, this is where we're going to tell OpenAI which model we want to use and the prompts that it's passing through. So to do this, we do const response, and that's going to be equal to OpenAI.createCompletion. And the model that we want to use for this is going to be the text DaVinci. And it's going to be the version three, the latest one. And then we need to take the prompt that we want to use. And that is going to be request.body.prompt. So when we pass information through inside the body via Postman, we'll be creating a JSON with a prompt inside. Uh, we also have a temperature. If you want to know what all of these do, uh, you can look at the documentation. Um, it also tells you when you hover over here. So for example, the temperature, higher values mean the model will take more risks when sending response back. Uh, we have top underscore P, we're gonna have that equal to one. A frequency penalty, we're gonna have that set to zero. And a presence penalty, we're also gonna have that set to zero. We also need to tell it how many max tokens it wants to send back. So max tokens, uh, we're going to set to 1024. So to use that response, it actually returns a promise. So we can do response.then, and then that passes back data. 
and inside of the promise we want to do res.send we want to create an object and that's going to be a message and then that will return data.data.choices and we're going to, this choices is an array so we're going to take the first part of the array and then that's an object with a text inside So the only thing left to do now is to initialize the API. So now if we run this file in node, we can see it's running on port 3000. Okay, so from here, if we open up Postman, we create a new request, set that to post. We have local host and message. We then wanna click on the body tag, select raw and select JSON. From here, we can create our request. So it's gonna be a prompt and we want to ask it, what is your name? If we click send on that, it should come back with, my name is John. And we'll ask it, what is your age? Click send, I'm 24 years old. If you found this video useful, hit the subscribe button and check out this video on screen now to see which is best, OpenAI's ChatGPT or GitHub's Copilot.